Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm doing an update on the 55 gallon, which I haven't done an update on in a while, or at all, since I have first showed you the tank. Um, things are doing good. Since last time, um, I hacked down all the plants, and the growth is ridiculous. You see all that plant. That wasn't there. I hacked everything down to about like an inch of plant on everything, and it's all back, which is amazing. Um, this, what I was told is Dwarf Sag, I still don't know if it's Dwarf Sag, I actually got a message yesterday asking if I know if it's Dwarf Sag or not yet, I actually want someone to tell me that, uh, I'm gonna sit down here real quick, because it's probably six inches long in some part, parts, uh, it's getting very thick, you see some of the roots down there, doing really well. Um, it's taken off like crazy. I mean, I planted it just he here, and I have some over there, and there's some back there, and some over there, and everywhere. <laughs> the Rotala doing really good after hacking it down. Uh, you can see those pink right there. There's the ma female turquoise and the male Bosmani. Those are the only fish in here, other th other than two. Um, two autos that are in here somewhere um, they're doing good too um, there's two things I want to get into in this in this um, video about the tank um, oh by the way I took away the aqua clear right now it's I got the uh, fluval 306 going doing really well still got this one on but it's not actually on so it's just the fluval got some good movement in the tank as you can see from the duckweed moving all over the place uh, got a heater in here which wasn't here last time because uh, it's been getting kind of cold and my water's been dropping down a lot more than I want it to the crypts back there um, I actually I thought the crypts would be growing a lot bigger than the dwarf sag would what I think is dwarf sag I don't know someone please tell me uh, now I kind of regret putting the Dwarf Sag here because it's growing like crazy. Uh, it's bigger than the Crips, so the Crips are being like overtaken. Um, you see that Red Tiger Lotus there is doing really well. Really happy about that. The Amazon Swords are doing okay. Uh, not tremendous growth or anything. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Still CO2 very little right now um, so what I want to get into first of all rainbow fish where do people or do you guys know where to get some of them sorry my camera just cut off what I was saying is where do I get rainbow fish I'm starting to get really pissed I can't get them anywhere every single website is like sold out of the ones that I want right now I want a female Bozmani to accompany him my camera keeps cutting out. It's getting really annoying. I'm sorry about that, guys. Just work with me. Um, yeah, I want to know where to get some some rainbow fish. I really just don't know. Um, I asked. I sent a message to Dustin, Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tanks on FishTankTV.com. He hasn't responded to me yet. I want to know where he got his. His friend Steve. If you haven't seen uh, Steve's tank, go check that out. He's got a 55 rainbow tank that he's the reason that I'm doing a rainbow fish tank. I always liked Dustin's fish, but I always thought that I would need a really big tank to keep them. And after I saw Steve's 55, I was like, wow, um, I have to keep some rainbows. And that's the reason I'm keeping them. Um, I don't know how to get a hold of him. I don't know if he's got like a fish tank TV account or a YouTube account or a Facebook account or I don't know anything to maybe figure out where he got his rainbows because I would love to know because he's got a millennium in his tank the alpha male of his tank it looks beautiful um, that's the reason I want a millennium really is because of him I want Bosmanis definitely because of Dustin his Bosmanis are absolutely beautiful um, that's what I hope to have one day um, you know it takes time for these guys to grow I've had these guys for maybe two months at the most and they haven't grown at all their colors have gotten a little better. See what I mean by he's spazzy? He loves to just go up and down and 
he, he makes spastic movements, like he just spazzes, if you know what I mean by when I say that. He's just spazzing. It's weird, I don't know if he's something wrong with him or something. When I treat, when I put a bunch of water into the tank and I forgot to put Dechlor, um, that's when he started becoming kind of spazzy. I don't know if I made him like mentally retarded or something, I don't know. Um, definitely got questions about that. Um, but yeah, there isn't too much going on. Lots of growth. Uh, just happy with the tank right now. Um, a little preview, there's my 10 gallon. Looks really bad right now. Got this really shitty light on it. That's getting replaced. It's actually in the mail right now. It's a working, definitely a work in progress tank. Um, the 29 absolutely looks terrible. Um, I hacked everything down the other day. So you can see everything's like an inch tall. And the water's kind of yellow. And him I want to get rid of. And whoever wants him that doesn't live far away or something. I don't know. I need to get rid of him. I don't know who wants him. There's some guy in Michigan who wants them, but I don't. I can't ship to Michigan. Like I live in, I live in Texas. Uh, I want to get rid of them. Who knows when that's gonna happen? Um, what's going on? What's going on? I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, that's that's my big issue right now. I'm starting to get very frustrated about not being able to find rainbows. Um, <clears throat> Really, I don't care about the price. I really don't. I, I care about shipping price. But if I have to pay like $15 a rainbow, I really don't care. That's Price isn't really the issue. It's just the shipping and the reliability. Are they going to have really good colors? Because Dustin says that a lot. Uh, he says he got his, he got lucky and he found a breeder or something who uh, hadn't bred them too much. So they still had a lot of their natural colors. Which I'm hoping this guy is going to have some good colors. Uh, really, only time will tell. Um, enough about this tank. This tank. Um, really don't look... I uh, hate what it looks like right now. But one of the things I have to tell myself that I wasn't really aware of when I started fish tanking. I guess this is kind of a, for the, for the uh, newer fish tankers. Definitely, your tank is going to look ugly before it looks good. And that's just something you have to keep in mind. I think Dustin said this before, but your tank is gonna look like shit before it looks like it does in your head. Cause that's how I started. I started with this picture in my head, how this is gonna my this is how my tank's gonna look. And when it didn't look like that, I was just like, what? Like all this work for nothing? And blah 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 blah. It's just patience. You have to have patience in this. Very it's you need a lot of patience you need a lot of time uh, a lot of love a lot of you just need to put your heart into this and you know I haven't I haven't even came up with a tank that shows that I'm a great tank fish tanker yet like this tank is hopefully gonna be my show tank one day and it's still a work in progress and um, I'm, I'm loving what it looks like um, I hope you guys like it because I'm putting this online, and, uh, you know, uh, opinions are everything, you know? Um, you know, just don't get discouraged when your tank doesn't look good. You know, this is all, uh, this is, it takes a lot of tweaking and a lot, a lot of time to get the tank the way you want it to, and you just have to remember that. And, um, so, if, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully see you guys soon. Um, if anybody can tell me if this is Dwarf Sag or not, because this is the first Sag I've ever had. I don't know if it is or not. And if someone can let me know where to get some good rainbows, I'd love to know. Um, thanks for you guys' help, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Uh, see you guys.